What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Shots of Sunset. Um, let's go to jump right into it. So, we start off with uh, Mike and Reza. They pretty much rehash what brought them to this point, and since they did it, I am not going to do it. But Mike pretty much accepts his responsibility in everything, especially the, the demise of their relationship. Even go so far as to make mention that, um, you know, he needs to work at actually doing shit. That in the business venture, which was one of their issue, to even just personal relationships, he relies on his uh, charm and whatnot to get him through rather than putting in the work. So he's going to put in the work. So, you know, Rez is happy because it seems like, um, you know, he's got Mike back. Mike invites Reza. Well, he says, I want, I, you know, I want, I want him to come to Shabbat dinner. You know, mm, so I'm assuming he wants all of them and by what I just saw in what's to come. So I, I'm assuming that it is everybody to go, will come to his house for Shabbat dinner. Um, and Reza invites Mike to his uh, supposed uh, wedding venture. I say supposed because we don't know if it's actually going to happen. Um, Gigi gets her stitches removed. Shervin is there with her. He's uh being good support for her, but Gigi did make mention that uh well she she made mention that he was there when she went into surgery. When she got out of surgery, he's now there for the stitches. But MJ, who should be there, isn't there because she's booed up, and they're going to address something later. So we'll see how all of this plays out. And Tommy and MJ are together. They're talking about her eggs, her vagina, and his sperm count. So pretty much her vagina's good. She has um her um okay, come on, y'all real. Her uh, eggs donated well not donated, but frozen and all of that's good, but with the pregnancy it also matters the sperm count. So she wants him to, you know, pretty much nut in a cup and see how his little swimmers are swimming. And trying to do all the math to see if, and her whole thing is if he is the one, how that's all going to, you know, play out in terms of the whole procreation thing. <clears throat> all right, so it opens back with uh, Reza and MJ. It's her little photo shoot thing, and the whole purpose is, of course, since um, Tommy is uh, supposed to uh, get his sperm checked out. Um, she wants to be the only thing that he thinks about. So she's taking pictures, doing videos, the whole nine. So there's that. Reza did ask her if he felt that this was like premature, if they were possibly moving too fast. But the main thing that uh, she was saying is this is just to look at his sperm and make sure that he is fertile. So there's, there's that. <laughs> I said her mom goes to, uh, like a little arts and craftsy type store uh, because uh, she is uh, gathering items to create a uh, gold turban and she's going to wear that when she uh, officiates the wedding for Adam and Reza. And you have Gigi and MJ, they sit down and it was one of those where I was watching it and y'all can get me together down there. I truly, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just lost myself in what was going on that I sort of kind of don't remember what's going on. I really don't feel like going back to rewind it and understand it. But I know that um, they were talking to each other and, oops, excuse me. And um, it, it started with them like trying to catch up. Uh, MJ asking about the scars on her hand. Gigi, you know, no. Yeah, MJ asking about the scar that was on her hand. And also talking about her current relationship. And Gigi had, I guess, asked something along the lines of, you know, are you open more or less to constructive criticism or even something along those lines and said something like, uh, you know, well, what if he cheated on you or somebody were to tell you that he cheated on you or something like that. And apparently, Charlie fucked her over. So she took that as a jab which in an instance like that yeah i probably would too but if you're there because you're really trying to reach out to gg even this is just me i'm not saying except being attacked i'm not saying that by any means but if your main intentions were to reach her it's one of those where i'm pretty sure you could swallow a lot 
in terms of reading her, even if somebody is sitting here going for the blows. But you can see that, um, yeah, both of them are actually very emotionally sensitive and fragile. And when it comes to Gigi, you know, yeah, she it's just a lot of work that needs to be done there. But I don't, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I got nothing. Nothing. Okay, not much. Uh, Mike and... Uh, okay, so Mike is uh, getting ready for Shabbat dinner with Jessica. Uh, one thing I will say is I did look into... Um, oh, shit. The uh, divorce and everything. And, yeah, it's, it's some crazy-ass shit, especially knowing that... Cause, I mean, the whole cheating thing, I know that... He cheated before he got married. I don't know the time frame. It really doesn't matter. Apparently, he cheated while they, I think, shortly after or while they were married. Whatever the case may be. All of this led to the breakup. And it's one of those where, like I said, why would you spend all of this money on a wedding knowing that you have not been faithful up until that point? And I would assume that maybe he thought that, you know, okay, well, that was then, this is now. I don't know. And then I really, really hope that Jessica converted because she really wanted to convert and not for him because she is so, so invested. And you can see it. You can really see it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, Reza and Adam. Uh, Reza is uh, talking to Adam as they're driving to a uh, location because he wanted to show him an idea of how he wants his dream house to be built. He wants it to be pretty much stone and glass. And you have Adam thinking about what MJ said, and they even had the playback. And, you know, the whole things need to be equal between you two. So Adam's whole thing is, yeah, I got that, but I also want this. And I think that it's, like, I'm all for Adam having his voice, but it just seems as if, he really wasn't listening to Reza. And it's just like, okay, again, the whole battery in the bag type of thing. But I'm all for Adam having happiness and standing his own ground. And what I want to say about that is, you know, I really hope MJ understands what it is that she did. Because I am pretty sure, regardless of what happens, this is going to come up at the reunion. And I'm pretty sure Reza is probably not going to hold back any punches. Now, we might find out about it before then, but I'm just saying. We can expect this at the reunion. And then you have MJ and Tommy. And, yeah, him to ejaculate. They say he's supposed to wait two to five days. Apparently, he didn't. And they pretty much said if it didn't work, <clears throat> then he'll come back. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so Adam and Reza, they're talking, and Adam brings up the conversation that he had with MJ. So, there it is. Like I said, it was one of those where I literally, I think I just said not that long ago from the previous clip, that it's probably going to come up, and he up and fucking said it. So, yeah. And Reza's not stupid. He puts two and two together, understands who said, well, not, well, we already know who said what, but where the uh, disconnect is. So at some point, yeah, we know he's going to address MJ. Probably a Shabbat dinner. I don't know. Now, Asifa, um, okay, no, I'm sorry. We are at uh, Shabbat dinner now. Um, everybody there, but Gigi. And when I say everybody, I don't know if uh, Tommy is there. I don't think I saw Tommy. But Asifa and Bobby are there. Now, I'm under the impression that maybe they were considered for taping, but all of their other shit got scrapped. It's either that or they just weren't there and they're just friends of the cast and that's just it, so I don't know. But, um... Reza asks her how she is, and then she, well, because, you know, he hadn't seen her or talked to her since Shervin's party, and she immediately goes in from what we saw on Gigi, and literally, it's one of those where it's just like, <clears throat> I'm all for, you know, getting what needs to be gotten off your chest, but one, it's like, okay, you're talking about this person, and she's not there. You're talking about it where everybody can hear. So it's one of those where you're truly going to affect 
the atmosphere and for what Shabbat is supposed to be totally the wrong move because Shabbat is supposed to be joyous, a time for reflection amongst other things. Totally a, a, a buzzkill. Totally. And I mean totally. Like, you... I... I I would have felt some kind of way. And you can see that Mike was very, very, very upset. I would be upset too. One, to welcome you into my house. Then you bring this negative energy. It's on Shabbat, which for those who don't know, Shabbat is considered a holiday. It is a holiday. It's a weekly holiday. And it's one of those where you, you're inviting them into your house because you also invite God into you. It's one of those where, I'm sorry, that I'm, I'm going to just move on, but... I can feel Mike's frustration. Um, and Reza tells uh, Asifa, you need to make this right. And she's like, oh, just me? He's like, you both do, but you're here. In essence, you brought it up, so I'm talking to you. And Bobby is pretty much telling her, well, you know, it can't be made right because the old Gigi does not exist. And it was just one of those, I mean, even MJ had her bit to say, but hers truly came from a place of, you know what, she just, da da da, it is what it is because they already fell out. But it's so funny that Asifa is saying all of this about Gigi, but who threw the cake first? Who also threw the whole cake? I know I didn't bring up that, you know, MJ threw the whole cake, but it was one of those where it didn't make contact, so it really didn't matter. But we'll see how this bullshit continues to play out. Okay, so Jessica, hey, she put the motherfucking foot down, y'all, because it gets to a point where she's like, look, we gonna dead this shit. We gonna move the fuck on, all right? And if you don't want to, if you don't want to, like, dead this shit, get the fuck out of my house. Okay, all right, I can feel that. And it's one of those where it's fucked up because, again, it is Shabbat. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. MJ and Reza, they talk about, you know, the whole secret wedding thing. Like, Reza pulls her to the side. It's one of those where, I don't know, I think the shit was for TV. Because it's like, if you really was going, they were going in the house. They could have went in the house, out the house, to the front to have a conversation. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know. It, it might have been. But uh, he goes back, Reza goes back to talk to Adam. And Adam's like, well, I heard my name, so what did you talk about? You know, and he pretty much lied to say, oh, she was trying to talk me out of getting the house. So now Adam feels kind of ways is like, okay, well, I thought she was chilling for me. Okay, so she on that fuck shit. Well, MJ, so Reza goes back to talk to her and, you know, t pretty much tells her like, look, this what it is, this is what I said, just kind of like fall in line. So MJ talks to Sherv and Mike and Jessica and mentions the surprise wedding. Well, now you have Asa and Adam in the house. So now everybody else is sitting down at the table. Shervin brings up the surprise wedding. And Reza denies it. And, you know, he's mad at um, MJ. You know, and MJ is kind of semi-mad at Shervin. Not really, but kind of like, fuck, he said something. And Mike even says, like, if it was a secret, why would you ever fucking say something? So you pretty much just broke the fucking car in the rule. Okay. Okay, so Adam, not Adam, look, I'm getting people fucking names mixed up and shit. Uh, you would think I've been drinking, right? I haven't. I, I mean, I have been drinking on, uh, you know, some uh, purple crystal light. You know, this was uh, from earlier in commemorance of uh, me doing my tablets, trending topics with T video, which I'm going to try to upload tomorrow. It's already transcribed to be uploaded sometime this week, but commemorating, you know, um, the life, the, uh, the life of Prince, you know, everything purple. So, you know, purple drink, purple ring. Y'all know the fuck I'm saying. But anyway, um, but no, I haven't been drunk. I, I did have a long island earlier, but that was earlier. I haven't had, had one since. So, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, they did the shit pretty much just saying, fuck it, enough is enough. And it's one of those where you just got to think that some of this was for <clears throat> the... Um, the television, and I think they just got, I think Mike just got to pull, like, no, okay, we're, we're fucking done with this shit. We are fucking done. They finally brought in, okay, well, Shabbat was officially brought in when, um, they, uh, when, uh, Jessica and Mike lit the candles, they said the prayer, so 
Shabbat was already brought in, but they formally brought in the dinner when they brought, well, you know, when <clears throat> they blessed the wine, brought the challah. And it was just one of those, where it was just so beautiful to see. I know y'all saw the food before, you know, the appetizers or whatever, but it was so nice to actually see them, you know, just get along and it just, you know, just the whole family thing. I know I saw some chicken. I was like, that shit looks so, like the fucking spread, both the appetizers and what they ate, it just looks so delicious. But I'm glad they were able to end on a good note. So that's all that I have, you guys. This is my review for The Shots of Sunset. Please let me know how you guys felt. Like I say, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure, we, like I said, we all agree, disagree. As long as we keep it tasteful down there, I'm all good for it. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys same place, same time next week. Peace.